the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR 106.5 FM, AM 740, and TV 10. Welcome you back to the Sports Mix. Nick Verzley, Colin McLaughlin, now joined by the head coach of the Shepherd women's basketball team, Julie Kaufman. Coach Kaufman, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you guys? We're doing well as well. And uh, looking Good. forward to tomorrow and Saturdays, we will have your team for the first time this season, the Shepherd women's basketball team. And coach, uh, you guys were able to get a win in your last game over Wilmington, Delaware. Overall, it's been kind of an up-and-down start to the year. Started with some tough losses, but the last two games have been more competitive for your program. Yes, for sure. Um, You know, we definitely got our first win uh, earlier than last year, which is awesome. Um, But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an up-and-down year, um, you know, just for us. We're we're pretty young um, and inexperienced. um, So, you know, just kind of fighting through some things and, and learning, you know, how to play in those close, tough games. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited that we, uh, we did pull that win out, um, you know, against Wilmington. You mentioned the learning year two for you, so it <laughs> will continue to be a learning process most likely through the year. What were some things that you've learned in the off season as well as in these first few games for your team? Um, just to be patient, but also, um, you know, be able to push them to their, you know, outside of their comfort zone. You know, I think they're learning um, – you know, also what it looks like, um, you know, to practice day in, day out, every day, um, you know, at that high level that I ask of them. So, you know, just just trying to teach a little bit more, like I said, be patient, um, explain some things to them that maybe I, you know, assumed that they, they knew already. Um, you know, our, our two, you know, first losses, I think, were, were pretty big eye-openers for us. We just weren't re- ready for those, um, you know, the physicality and the toughness of those of those opponents. And so um, just kind of learning and figuring those things out, you know, day by day is is just something that we're, we're working on. Coach, you do have some players that returned from last season, uh, Sydney Bowles, Peyton Grant, kind of two of the bigger names that come back as well as Kara Miner um, and a few others as well. How do you think having, you know, that kind of core and those players as your leaders help with this young team that you have this year? Yeah, um, you know, trying to encourage them as well, um, just to, to step up and be leaders. So, you know, the crazy thing about our returners, you know, they don't really have much experience either. Um, even though they are, you know, fifth year senior and, and junior and sophomores, you know, they really only had that experience with me last year. And, um, you know, last year obviously was such a up and down, you know, roller coaster of a year trying to, you know, just implement, you know, what I want to do. Um, you know, just my schemes and culture and all that stuff. So really just trying to get them to kind of open up and, and be more of those leaders and, and be confident in what they already know. Um, that's been, you know, a huge kind of learning curve for them as well and just still trying to be patient to the fact that they are still kind of learning as well. Um, and that's why I say, like, you know, we, we really, you know, those are our three leaders and, and the ones with the most experience. But even if you look at it, they don't really have – that much experience so um you know just kind of trying to teach them a little bit more as we go coach Kaufman what are some things specifically that you've seen on the court so far in the first four games that you've liked and felt like were a strength of your team and what are maybe some early weaknesses in your team that you're trying to get out of the system yeah so those weaknesses I would say you know just you know, playing tough all the time, um, you know, making sure that our practices are competitive enough for them to, um, you know, really find the game uh, comfortable. I feel like sometimes our practices can be a little too comfortable or we're not going as hard as we should or maybe the drills and stuff need to change a little bit. So that's something that I'm learning as well as a coach, but also just pushing them, you know, outside of their comfort zone. But I think, you know, strengths for us, I mean, I really think that we're trying to find um, an identity and that might be through our defense right now, um, really trying to get them to, to buy into our concepts a little bit more, um, you know, and just kind of having – more of this is what we do, this is what we do all the time, and then changing what we need to, you know, scout-specific-wise. Um, instead of, you know, last year we kind of switched up our defense almost every game, and that just wasn't wasn't something that was conducive to, you know, this team this year. So, Coach, one of the newcomers that's made a good early impact for your team has been Leela Copeland. Um, she only stands at five foot tall, but 
has certainly uh, been, you know, a good score for you guys. What did you see in her? And do you think maybe because of her height, she was a little bit overlooked uh, at her previous school? Yeah, you know, she's the type of kid that has grit all the time. Um, and, and when I saw her play, I actually saw her play in high school um, when I was at a, a different school, previous institution. And, um, you know, when I saw that she, you know, was maybe looking to come back home, I really wanted to get her here. We, we really needed um, a point guard that has experience, that knows, you know, their team and how to get them into an offense and just kind of that coach leader, um, you know, on the court. And so she does a really good job for us. And, I'm, you know, she she's really, you know, starting to, to fill into that role, especially with her experience. I mean, she has the most experience really on our team, you know, her and Kara Minor. So um, just really trying to get her comfortable with us since she is new and just kind of, you know, throwing her into it, trying to see what she can do. But, yeah, she, she shows that grit and that hard work all the time, and that's really what we want our team to be. So she's, you know, that lead-by-example type kid. Coach Kaufman, you guys open up conference play tomorrow afternoon and then another game on Saturday afternoon, Seton Hill and California, respectively, for those games. Uh, just give us your notes about those two matchups. Yeah, those two matchups for us are going to be, um, you know, a little difficult for us just in the fact that, um, you know, we haven't seen them. You know, I haven't seen them since I've been here at Shepard. Um I think they're very similar to the teams that we played at the beginning of the year. So I think we're going to, you know, hopefully, um, you know, learn from those games and, and play them tough. Um, but those two teams are really good. They play really well together. Um, their chemistry, especially Seton Hill right now, is playing really well. Um, you know, and Cal plays really tough. Um, you know, so just us really sticking to our game plan and what we do well as a, as a you know, a program is really going to help us go far um, and just – just sticking to us and, and making sure that we're doing the little things um, and playing and, and putting together a 40 minute game. I think we've struggled with that this year. Um, we just, we've really got to buckle down and focus and, and do a full 20, not just a 20 minutes or a half. Coach, uh, heading into these two matchups as you head into PSAC play as well. Um, how do you get this team ready for PSAC play? It will be another tough challenge. You mentioned, you had some uh, tough games early in the year with more physical teams. The PSAC, obviously, a, a very strong conference, so I would expect that you're going to see a lot of physicality and, and uh, tough teams in the PSAC play as well. Yeah, um, I don't know if I really know the answer to that. Um, like I said, I think it starts in practice, um, making them feel uncomfortable in practice, making our practices harder than what the game's going to be. Um, like I said, amping our drills up a little bit and just making sure that we have intense, intensely focused practice um, that's not only geared towards what we need to do right, but also geared towards um, the scout. You know, who are we playing? You know, what does that team look like? How do we need to play them? But um, like I said, always have that grit and toughness so that we can, we don't have to turn that on during games. We always have that. Coach, what are the goals that you have in place for your team this year and where do you want to see this program at by the end of the year? Yeah, um, our goal as a program right now is every single day we want to get 1% better, um, whether that mean win, lose, whatever the situation may be, that we need to learn from from the day before us or the, the day before. Um, so with the Wil Wilmington game, for instance, you know, we pulled out that win. That's awesome. But we're still not satisfied with how we played in that um, game and just learning from our mistakes there and making sure that we're getting better every single day. That is just that's been our goal. Um, you know, I don't really put um, too much, I guess, time or, or focus into wins and loses or wins and losses. Um, I try not to at least put that on my team. I think that we, you know, need to measure our success differently um, until we get to that, that point where we can look at, um, you know, are we a championship caliber, te caliber team? And this is how our focus needs to be and our mindset in order to get there. And so that's really what our goal is is changing our mindset, making sure that we're getting better every day, and then hopefully, you know, those results will come. All right, Coach, thank you for the time, and good luck to, uh, this weekend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.